Deepak, you're with SAS, right? That's right. And you guys um, have been in the data world for quite some time. 40 years. 40 years. That's right. So what are you guys up to now that is different? Well, one, of course, is I think, um, which you hear a lot about, which is uh, essentially around the whole uh, the data explosion that's taking place. Um, it's also a function of people. It's also a function of technology. Uh, it's becoming easier to, to transact. It's becoming easier to call. Uh, and all of that in the background is generating large amounts of data. Uh, and in this part of the world, of course, I mean, it's a function of people, so the, the data that's generated is just phenomenal, and right? it's, it's just humongous. And you just mentioned a number about how many people are in this part of the world, right. and it's enormous. That's right. It's, I think it's close to, I think, uh, let's see, there's around 1.1 from India, there's one from 1.2 from China, and around 300,000 up from Indonesia. It's around close to 3.2 3 billion uh, people. people. That are part of the Asia Pacific. All region. carrying mobile devices and generating yeah, data and yeah. sensors and absolutely. And, and it's interesting because you know in some markets you have uh, you have cell phone penetration of 120 percent, which means people have more, more than, than one. one. Yeah. Right. So which is so it gives you an idea in terms of the devices that are floating, uh, and also a lot of the uh, the manufacturing vendors are based around this part of the world, like Samsung and and LG and Huawei uh, and, and Huawei. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. I think it's. It's a large market in many ways. And so what do you guys do with those sort of partners? What do you, you you're a data company, you've been for 40 years. Right. What are you guys up to with this all this massive amount of data nowadays? Well, so that's a great question. So one of the things that, that we are seeing, especially in, in, I mean, this part of the world also focuses a lot on manufacturing, for instance, and some of the, the vendors that we spoke about. So uh, manufacturing, has, uh, is now looking at the next gen manufacturing, and you'll be hearing things such as an IoT, uh, Internet of Things, machine to machine robots. Machine, that's all, right. Yeah, 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 you know, yeah. and and so SAS is working a lot with these these uh, next generation manufacturing uh, analytics, and helping these organizations benefit from that uh, by processing the data, by doing analytics in the data, and then helping them in their quality control, helping them in optimizing the offers to customers. So it sort of touches pretty much every aspect of the of the organization's life, the manufacturing organization's life. Likewise for banking, um, you know, banking we are finding a huge wave of um, a lot of uh, unbanked people now coming into a sort of financial inclusion, um, and those people are now you're facilitating payments a lot more easier. Um, you know, e-commerce now is is big in this part of the world, and a lot of. Uh, Transactions are taking place over mobile phones. Yes, yeah, so like we compare like cyber from Thanksgiving through Cyber Monday or right. whatever. One day in China is bigger, ten That's times right. bigger than. That's right. Yeah. I mean, Alibaba this year made fourteen point three billion dollars on one day in e-commerce transactions. So it's it's of enormous scale. So imagine that's just the transactions, right? Um, there's also the whole supply chain logistics behind it. In Do terms you have of the inventory? Do you have correct. shipping, all that? Correct, yeah. getting that across, fulfilling that $1.4 billion worth wow. of transactions, it's massive. So you work with companies like that. So SAS goes in, do you have a platform you're installing or what is it that you guys actually do? So so our, our, um, our DNA is around analytics. So um, we look at, at uh, kind of business problems that these organizations have or could have mm -hmm. and look at how we can solve those business problems using an analytical workbench. Okay. So we provide the, uh, the deep dive analytics um, of well, 40 years of statistical modeling uh, and the vintage of that, we sort of look at how we can adapt that to this new uh, dynamic data market. And so is your analytics also looking at machine learning and predictive, and so you're, you're forecasting where things are going to be rather than? That's right, yeah, that's yeah. right. So yeah. we, we, we started doing machine learning uh, in, uh, in the late 2000s. Um, so we used to do a lot of neural networks, for instance, mm -hmm. which is a form of, uh, um, form of machine learning. Uh, and it continues to grow. I think what's, um, what we're looking at essentially are these new areas where machine learning is making a huge difference, and as you said, as manufacturing companies are turning on the switches of machine talking to another machine, uh, those algorithms are now coming into play in those uh, in those industries, uh, and it's a it's just huge. It's getting bigger. And it's getting bigger. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. getting bigger. Yes, yeah. they need a new law. Moore's law it doesn't seem like it fits data anymore. It, it doesn't. Yeah, you know. it, it doesn't. It's almost uh, it, actually the entropy law fits data a lot better because entropy of the universe increases. So similarly, data in the world is constantly increasing. So. Thinking about the world and right. thinking about the future, if right. we have this conversation next year in December here, right. what do you think will change 
for SaaS and what do you think will change for the industry? Well, what so that's a great question because you know one of the things we um, we um, this conference has really provided us is is there's a there's enormous interest in in analytics um, and I think in that way SaaS is so well placed in terms of addressing. Uh, this next generation of uh, folks who are now getting into analytics, uh, as both as uh, as folks who are trying to sort of being practitioners of analytics, and also organizations who are looking to sort of use new techniques to sort of uptake of that analytics. Uh, as you can see, I mean, it's uh, we saw the whole ecosystem here today in this in this conference, and it's it's really nice to see a lot of people turning out from different industries, uh, very keen to sort of learn what they could do with uh, with all of these algorithms. And I think um, SaaS will be in a very, very nice place next year. Um, and it will continue to be in a nice place going forward. Excellent. Well, we look forward to that conversation next year. Thank, Thank you, you very much.